believe it or not, there actually is some strategy that goes into creating hundreds of best-selling Tumblr wrap designs like these on Etsy. And if you look at some of mine, it's not really the level of design that makes them a bestseller, but more so the quote or the saying or the general emotion that the design evokes from the buyer. Most of my bestsellers either have a funny or trendy saying on them, a positive or affirming type of quote, or just speak to a very particular person like a nurse or a teacher, someone who is very, very into their occupation, or perhaps someone that is very caring about a certain type of awareness like cancer awareness. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through my exact process for creating best-selling Tumblr wraps from start to finish. So the first step in the process is to pick a popular niche that you're going to be designing for. So this can either be a hobby, an occupation, an awareness like I spoke about earlier, or um, just something that is trending or something like an upcoming season or holiday that people buy a lot of designs for. So over in Etsy, I have an idea that I'm just going to be creating a fishing tumbler wrap just because the summer is coming up quickly and this is something to get in on early as far as designing those two to three months that we want to be ahead of time. So I'm just typing in fishing tumbler wrap and as long as the keyword has at least a few hundred searches, that is good enough for me to go by. So as of right now, this only has about 98 searches, but this will definitely go up the closer that we get to summer. And I do, do know from personal experience that a lot of my fishing tumbler wraps are pretty seasonal. They go um, sell a lot more in the summer. So this is why I'm choosing this particular keyword just because I've designed for this for the last two years and I know that it always does well. So now that I know that I'll be designing for a fishing tumbler wrap, I am just moving over to Kittle and I am actually going to come up with my saying first. So this step needs to happen before um, you begin to create the design. Otherwise, you don't know what type of quote to have on your design. So what I like to do is come over to the tools section, which is right here, and then click on AI quote generator. This is going to help you come up with a bunch of different cute, funny, trendy, whatever type of saying that you are looking for without trying to rack your brain for hours, trying to think of something that is unique. So you'll just want to click on generate quote. And then if they do have the particular um, subject that you are going to be designing for or niche like cats or dogs or beer, you can just simply click on that. Since they don't have an option for fishing, I'm just going to type in fishing down here and then click continue. Then you'll want to pick what um, length of words that you want it to be. So I usually just stick with two to four just because if it gets any longer than that, it's kind of hard for the AI image generator to have that type of long words and it come out actually accurate. So I'm just going to leave it on two to four words and click generate. Okay, and it will usually give you um, at least nine to 12 and some of them you probably have seen before and I actually have found a lot on here that were not even on Etsy at all. And so I've been able to use those. So at least always three to four are always going to be good. So I think that for this, I'm just going to be creating one of my other ones that I actually got from here before. Um, but a few ones that I would think um, that would be like fish whisper, caught napping, Hooked on fishing, this one has been done a few times, but it could be good with the hook and then with something else with fishing catch. This would be cute as well, um, but you can also just redo this again and again. I believe it takes one credit each time, so you will just want to keep that in mind. But for demonstration purposes only, I am just going to use the one that I already have in mind just to keep this as short as possible. So. Over in Kittle, I have created a 9.3 by 8.2 canvas, which is the general measurements for a 20 ounce skinny tumbler wrap. I should go back just a little bit and 
Oh, this was the other one that I had up here. So I had ran it before. I thought I had closed the tab, but this one came up with um, quite a few good ones as well. Um, I would use several of these. And since I like to design in batch, uh, this would be helpful to use the rest of these in just a little bit, but I'll just be designing one. So um, moving over to the design process, I'm just going to click on new project. And just to get my canvas set, in case you have never seen a Kittle demonstration before, you'll just want to click inches, change your DPI to 300, and then set your canvas. So a typical tumbler is 9.3 by 8.2, and then click create. That way you have the correct size for your tumbler. So since I already have ran this a few times, I'm just gonna hop over to my other tab. And as you can see, um, I have used the phrase wishing I was fishing. And the prompt that I used for this was just a large mouth bass fish jumping out of the water, rustic style, some grunge camo aesthetic with the text wishing I was fishing. So the first round was this one right here. And as you can see, it did have a typo with the double I here, but the rest of it would have been perfect to use. I like how it was over the top in this. This could be easily fixed so that you could use this one if you wanted to, but I went ahead and generated two more. So the second one was this one, which was the same type of layout, which I really like with the little smaller one up top and then fishing in the bigger text below. And then third was this option. So this one was kind of like up and over to the side and then with it smaller here. And I didn't really like the little semi fishing pole that it kind of put in here. So I'm not going to use that one. So I'm just going to delete that one and not this one. And it does on average take me about two to three times to get what I'm looking for and something usable. So the next step is to just go ahead and remove the background. So to do that, I am clicking on AI background remover, which is right here. And that will take off the background so that it is transparent. And then the next step is to add in any additional elements, which is what I usually do when I'm designing a full tumbler wrap. So I like to keep as much of the original prompt in here so that it matches as close as possible. So I'm just going to remove the subject, which is this first part, and replace it with a few fishing poles. And then I'm going to remove the text part because I don't need that and then leave it on watercolor, which was the style that I generated this in the first time. Okay, so now that that has finished, it has brought something like this, which I like, but the fishing poles kind of look too short, but I do like the tackle boxes on the bottom. So I'm going to save it right here just in case I might use it but I'm going to go ahead and run it again. So now that that has finished, I definitely like this one better. So I'll be using this one and getting rid of this one. So I'm just going to, again, remove the background on the fishing pole image, and then I'll go ahead and rearrange it a little bit. So I've just went ahead and duplicated this one and that was just by clicking on it and clicking Control C to copy it. And then I am going to flip it the opposite direction here and make it just a little bit smaller and move it down here. And this is just going to kind of fill out the rest of my design. And I am gonna go ahead and run it another time just to see if I can get a different variation so I can add something down here in the center. Otherwise, I might think about adding maybe some more bait or tackle boxes or maybe some worms. I'm not really sure yet. Kind of just winging this design to see what I get as far as what I have to work with. And then I'll decide and do a finished. So I like this one, but again, the fishing poles don't look real because they're a little bit too short. 
And that probably is because I'm keeping it in a square ratio. So I'm going to actually switch it to the nine by 16, which is the vertical size here to see if I can get it to actually show a full length fishing pole. So it is a little bit better, but they're still not quite long enough, but I'm actually going to kind of design it so it might not matter just because I like the hat right there in front. So I'm just removing the background once again, and then I'm gonna place it right in the center, but kind of put it behind and see if that doesn't work. And again, I've just right clicked and then sent to the back so that it is below the uh, text part here. And then I'm actually gonna go ahead and run it one more time with a tackle box in set instead to see um, if I can fill out this last little bit right here. And so this came out the first round and exactly what I need to fill out this bottom part. So again, one final time, go ahead and remove that background. And then I'm just gonna move it down here and center it where it needs to be. I don't want it to cut off, so I'm gonna leave it up a little bit like this and then move this all the way to the back as well so it doesn't cover up any of the fishing poles here. And that is it. So at this point, I'm ready to go ahead and download the design. So clicking on download, I will just click on remove background so it doesn't download with a white background and then click on optimize quality. Make sure this is set to 300 as well and then click on PNG. And so usually again, I would probably create at least five or six more if not all the way up to 10, if I had a lot of good sayings all at once. So I would have a batch of designs so that it is more effective as far as uploading them to Etsy and not having to change a bunch of tags and titles and keywords, but I do have a video on bulk working like that. So the next step is just to go ahead and mock this up. So I do, again, have another video about how I use the tool bulk mockup to create all of my mockups so that I don't have to do this manually. So this is pretty easy as far as just um, setting up your folders is really all that you need to do. And then you just download a script to your Photoshop and then drop your design into a folder called designs. Again, I do have a video about that. I will have the image of that right here and as well as that linked down in the description if you have not watched that before. And so now I'm just going to click on my design, which is this. I'm gonna go ahead and rename it properly so that it is titled correctly when it is mocked up. And now I'm just going to move that into my designs folder here. And then over in Photoshop, um, you'll just access your plugin by clicking on plugins. And once you've downloaded it, it will be there. So I'm just going to click on start generating. And I have three different mockups that I use because I give a mockup to my customers as well as um, a flat lay mockup that I have in the Etsy listing and then my regular mockup with my logo and uh, brand name on there. And so this should only take a couple of seconds depending on how many designs you are mocking up. But once that has finished, you can just access them by clicking on your export folder that you would have set up when you set up the script and they will all be in here. So this is what it looks like mocked up. This is just the regular one. And then here is a flat lay so they can see the full design and if it is a seamless design or not, which this one would be considered seamless since none of the um, images overlap on the side or there is no pattern. So at this point, you are ready to go ahead and add this to your Etsy listing as far as the design file and the mockups, and it would be good to go as far as then adding your titles, your tags, and your descriptions. Again, if you do need help with how to batch work and do all of this at one time where you're just editing the descriptions or the titles or tags, then be sure to watch that video. I'll have that up here next. And as always, thanks so much for watching.